This was 
DMs. Don't give out an email. Get a business email. Be careful reading your comments. Limit your comments. Limit words and terms and just protect yourself, you know? Protect yourself, even if you're not an ASMR artist. Dealing with people in general, protect yourself. Give yourself a bubble. So yeah, that's the only bad part. so creative and fun. If you could be creative and relaxed,
like his own, in his own lane, you know? Angie asks, how do you deal with lack of motivation or burnout? Love you, Sky. Love you so much, Angie. And I deal with burnout by watching ASMR. All different types. I love all different types of ASMR. Like, it depends on what I'm in the mood for. So I'll watch like a bunch of gentle ASMR. I'll watch fast aggressive. I will watch just so different, <laughs> so many different genres of ASMR. And eventually it just inspires me and I'm like, I'm going to make some. So I just watch it and just, I give myself a little break when I'm burned out, which doesn't happen too often because there's so many ideas. It's more so titles that get me because I'm like, what else could I title this, you know, unless it's a specific idea. If you're just doing ASMR, I feel like you run out of titles. I feel like other ASMR artists would understand. My favorite emoji, my favorite emoji would probably be, I use the white heart a lot, but I love the little magic wand. It's so cute. And I love, I love the little cloud. are you doing? How are you feeling? Because we care how you're doing. You help us when we need it most. So the least we can do is be concerned for your mental health. <laughs> that sounds like he thinks I have a problem. I'm not crazy. Uh, no, I'm doing very well. I'm doing good. I am the healthiest I've been. I am happy. I'm very like self-sufficient. I'm focusing on me. I'm surrounded by people that genuinely care about me and I genuinely care about them. I'm being, I'm way more self-aware than I was maybe a year ago or two years ago. Maybe it's because people say as you get older, obviously, my frontal cortex or whatever that is, it's going to develop fully soon. Maybe that's why. <laughs> but um, I'm doing very, very well, genuinely. I'm very tired right now, but that's my own fault. That's my own damn fault. Your passions beside ASMR, singing, music drawing, anything where you can be creative, filmmaking, editing. I would love to be someone's editor, perhaps in the future. Joanna asks, what's your favorite season and what would a perfect day during that season look like for you? Fall, fall, sunny, a little bit of a breeze. You can wear a sweater, you can wear shorts and a sweater, but you can also wear a tank top and sweatpants and Uggs. Like you can kind of, you're it's like air conditioning outside. I'm comfortable. It's a little chilly, but I like it. But I'm not cold, but I'm not sweating. I'm perfectly bundled, but I feel a nice breeze on me. I'm drinking coffee from my favorite coffee place. I'm journaling. I'm walking out and about running errands with my mom. Life is good. What's your favorite season month? Asked by Kate the Widow. Hi, Kay. Favorite season and month. Nothing beats December because it's my birthday month and Christmas and I love when it snows or July. I'm not big on 4th of July. I'm not like big on hot weather, but I feel like something about summer. I get tan. I'm like just glowing. I'm nice and fresh and happy. I like summer. I'm, it's growing on me. I used to not like summer. Now I'm liking it. This past summer, it was very healing for me. Matt asks, was there anything helpful to you with the anxiety of starting a YouTube channel and putting yourself out there to the world? Just do it. Literally, do not think about it. Don't overthink about it or else you'll freak out. Make a video. Be yourself. Truly be yourself. Make content that you watch and you're like, I like that and enjoy that. Post it. Harry asks, what are your top three characters in the Kirby franchise that aren't Kirby? Meta Knight, obviously. Love Meta Knight. I loved Elphalyn in the newest Kirby game. I'm not big on Waddle Dee's. I'm so sorry. I know it's Waddle Dee Wednesday today, but I'm I'm not big. I'm not big on Waddle Dee's. And maybe Marks. Marks is cool. Not a great creature, but I like Marks. I like the character design a lot. Devonk asks. I know that you love fragrances and perfumes, but what are your go-to frag notes? Like what notes motivate you to the extra mile? Would love to know that from Devunk. I hope I pronounced that right. I have mentioned this before. I like a nice, sweet, cozy gourmand, and then I like a fresh, cold, crisp. Those two, because those are like my two moods. So, my gourmand one changes up, but I like vanilla, ambery, uh, I like amber and vanilla in those sweet, fruity, caramel. I like those. But for my golden crisp, Piper and Barrel Berg is my go-to. It was amazing in the summer. 
there's so many categories. There's like cooking ASMR and reading and I've seen like ASMR short films. I think it's just going to continue to be so popular. ASMR may be dying more into podcasts and stuff. A lot of more celebrities will be doing ASMR. A lot of more companies will be using ASMR to kind of like tap in with people. Come back in 10 years. I am predicting ASMR podcasts and I am predicting kids TV shows in the future talking about ASMR. Maybe like two little TV show cartoon characters are like, wow, that sounds really nice. I'm feeling very relaxed. What is that called? That's called ASMR. It can be used to relax you. Maybe that's already a thing. Those are my two predictions for ASMR's growth in 10 years. That I can so see both of those things becoming more and companies continuing to market with ASMR. That's already a thing, but yeah. This was a lot of talking and I hope you enjoyed the rambling and I just wanted to post a video just answering a bunch of questions and I'm sorry if I didn't get to your question, but I tried to make sure that the questions I asked, I just kind of, I feel like all of these kind of answer a lot of the questions that I didn't include. I started to ramble and tie in other questions, so yeah. I hope you got to learn a lot about me and feel more connected to me because that was my intention. Q&As are really cool to kind of get to know me as me, as a person, where, you know. Yeah, I hope this makes you feel a little bit more connected to me and maybe we have a lot of things in common or... Maybe we don't, but opposites attract sometimes. And thank you so much for watching my videos, and thank you so much for supporting my channel, and thank you to everyone who left a question, and I love you so much, and I'm very, very thankful, and I'm not going to get emotional, but I'm very, very thankful, and this, I love doing this, and I will forever do this, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. A less rambly video is on the way after this. <laughs> Muchas gracias por ver este video. Thank you so much for watching. And someone asked what I'm going to be for Halloween. I'm not telling you. Thank you. Love you. <laughs>